Hi there guys, Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Today we're going to talk about practicing the major scale uh, in a slightly different way than we used to. I'm sure the majority of you out there use um, the three note per string method of playing um, your scales. So if we took, for instance, the key of uh, C major. Three notes on every string. So we're not going to take that approach today. Um, it's a great method in order to learn all seven different positions of, of uh, um, any major scale. And it works really, really well. I've spent years and years doing it. And, you know, I still will use three note per string um, for the foreseeable future. There's nothing wrong with it. However, there are a few issues in that uh, it's more of a visual thing rather than actually uh, a musical thing. Well, it can, you can, it's very easy to fall into the trap of treating the scale as, as literally just a position rather than um, intervals and colours, because that's, that's what they are. You know, whenever we play a scale or a mode or whatever, these intervals represent specific colours. And uh, when you're using, when you're playing positions, um, that can kind of get a little bit lost somewhat. Um, because, you know, players tend to get a bit too involved with, with uh, muscle memory and playing positions and shapes and all the rest of it. You know, it's, there's no getting away from that as guitar players, but I think the main focus should not be on that. Remember, we're, we're, we really need to internalise the sound and the colour that a scale or a mode creates. And that involves using your ear, doing a lot of ear training and working on intervals and all of that kind of thing. But today what we're going to do is we're, we're going to just move the three note per string thing aside and take a look at playing scales in, in a couple of different ways. Okay, so like I said, if we took the key of C, okay, we're not going to do it like that. What we're going to do is a two note per string scale. We're going to play C major, but we're going to play two notes on each string. Now, if you've not done this before, this will feel a little bit strange to start with. Um, but again, I think it's indicative of how, how well you've internalized the sound of the scale or mode. We're just going to stick with a major scale for now. Okay, so let me play it for you. I'll play C major, then we're going to do it two notes per string. Okay, here we go. <laughs> couple of things that you'll notice about that when we ascend in pitch throughout the scale simultaneously we're moving backwards on the fretboard kind of a weird country thing going on there but I I love those kind of things so uh, just once more <laughs> Okay, good, we're covering from here fret eight all the way back to fret one. This much of the fretboard, okay? Rather than just staying in one position, we're only covering this specific area. If we're doing it two notes per string, we're playing less notes per string, but we're, we're covering more of the fretboard. And it's enabling us to go through positions. So I find it's, it's particularly liberating, um, but also, Again, you know, not being used to it in terms of, you know, playing it from muscle memory, like memorizing the shapes, you should be able to, to hear your way through the scale by using your ear. Root, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, root, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Okay. The other good thing I like about it is by doing this kind of thing where you let two notes bleed together. That works really well. Great way of playing it. Okay, so it's a really, really effective way of playing. Uh, take, take, you know, stepping out of the, the three note per string box, so to speak, and just playing something in a slightly different way. So 
like I said before, it's really indicative when you're doing this kind of thing for the first time as to whether you really have internalized the sound of a scale or mode. Because realistically, if you have, you should be able to play it without having to rely on muscle memory and position playing. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to change keys. We're going to move it down to G. Okay, so we're going to... play this position here, so. Okay, I end on the third degree, even though I'm playing three notes, but I just like to end it there. Um, so, root seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, that's our position. Uh, as well as doing, um, like I did before, the notes which, when crossing strings, you can let them bleed into each other to create that real sort of campanella type sound. Um, you can do stuff like this. Uh, like motivic things. Uh, it's, it lends itself to much more melodic playing, I find, uh, doing the two-note per string thing. So uh, once you've done the first position, you need to move up to the second and see if you can see if you can play your way through that th through that using your ear. I don't mean use your ear to play. I mean <laughs> by listening to the intervals. Like I said before, indicative of whether you've really digested the sound of, of the major scale and, and the modes, okay? So you do that with every single position uh, and, you know, really test yourself. Um, so uh, lo what I like to do is sliding. Across those positions. Uh, it really lends itself to some great sort of melodic, motivic ideas, okay? So um, you might want to practice this in a parallel fashion as well. So if we did um, started with C Ionian, uh, sorry, G Ionian or G major. Okay, if we move to the next mode, it'd be G Dorian, right? Okay, so that would be two notes. And so on um, and you can do that with each each position so every single mode and again don't worry about the muscle memory for now if this is your first time doing it try and uh, use your ears to dictate the notes that you play so you should know all of the formulas formulae for the mode uh, the modes of the major scale so uh, Ionian 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Dorian 1 2 flat 3 4 5 6 flat 7 Phrygian, one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Lydian, one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. Mixolydian, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. Aeolian, one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Then Locrian, one, flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven. Okay, by using those formulas, you should be able to play this two notes per string, okay? Uh, so experiment with it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is uh, four notes per string, but we're not going to use four individual fingers. What we're going to do is we're going to use it uh, to enable us to move from the low area of the neck to a high area of the neck. Okay, so we're going to keep stay in the same key. So G major, okay. And we're going to slide on the last note, okay. Let me do that again without ballsing it up. Okay, so we've gone all the way from fret 3 to fret 19. God damn it. Just by using that slide. So, again, it's a very liberating feeling when you're able to just find your way out of those three note per string boxes that, that really feel as though, you know, you feel confined in that specific area of the fretboard and when you are when you do, when you are confined in one specific area It's very hard to be creative and, and melodic when you're stuck to a specific fingering. So descending mm -hmm. 
And this is not, this is nothing technical. This is more to do with uh, using your ear to find your way across the fretboard, okay? You know, I haven't specifically practiced these kind of things. It's, I will do it just as I feel like doing it, you know? So let's try Dorian. So once we've got the, the, the formula, one, two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven. <laughs> should be able to just do it on the fly. Um, so uh, I suggest you try practicing using two note per string methods and four note per string methods uh, using the slide, okay, because uh, they yield some fantastic results. You don't have to do it all the way up either. If you're improvising, you can just do it across two strings. <laughs> It's a great way of just moving out of positions um, and can yield some wonderfully creative melodic ideas. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up today's lesson on this Sunday. Um, just a quick reminder, it's still 30% off all downloads from my website. Uh, at the moment, I'm considering using a streaming service rather than uh, just downloadable content. So uh, if that's something that would interest you, uh, leave a... a a comment in the description box below but otherwise uh, the downloads are available from our website still 30% off link in description box okay thank you very much for checking in and uh, I will catch up with you guys in the next video cheers guys